Hi YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebony and this is Forever Ebony. So today I am here with the most anticipated coach bag of the year, the Coach Times Square Tabby. You guys, this bag has been generating buzz and excitement since February. I think we all have been impatiently waiting on it to hit shelves and I finally got my hands on it. This bag first made its debut during the Coach Fall 2024 runway show and this vintage inspired, almost distressed look really stood out and became the most talked about coach bag of the year. Now, with all that said, I wasn't planning on getting this bag. You guys know I am trying to limit myself to just two more bags this year, but I kind of bent that rule for this one. You guys, don't judge me. I really am trying. As you guys know, I was having issues again with the denim quilted tabby. The seat closure on the latest one that I shared with you guys was crooked. I ended up reordering it, and then the third one arrived in even worse shape. So I'm just giving up on that bag, and this Times Square tabby is now stepping in in its place. Now I'm going to admit when I initially saw this bag in person I didn't immediately feel the excitement I was expecting. To me it just reminded me so much of another bag that I own which made it kind of hard for me to see its distinct features right away. I think I just needed some time to fully appreciate it and assess how it would fit into my collection. So I didn't get it the day I saw it in store but once I got home I could not stop thinking about it so I decided to go back and get it but of course it was so out. So I had to order it online and it was just delivered today. As you can see, it still has some of the wrapping on it. You guys, I am really happy that I decided to get it after all. We're going to go over the whole bag. I of course want to give you guys a tour. Then I want to also compare it to the other bag that it reminded me of and I'll also show you what fits inside. So here it is up close, you guys. And first, I just want to say that the leather on this bag is so, so plush and so soft. The leather is actually washed, which gives it this unique texture and character. It's really, really soft, but it does have a bit of structure, if that makes sense. It actually reminds me of a vintage Chanel bag where the quilts tend to flatten over time. I went with the color Malo, which I just think adds a rich, deep tone to the already striking design. Right on the front of the bag is the Coach logo, and of course, it's in brand hardware which I feel is just perfect with this Merlot color. Here is the side of the bag and here on the side is the coach hang tag. The back of the hang tag is blank of course so you can always get this hot stamped if you want to add a personal touch. The back of the bag. On the back of the bag there is a little slip pocket that opens and closes with the magnet. It's a tight fit but hopefully you can see the inside is lined in canvas. The other side and then there's the bottom of the bag. One thing to note is that the design extends to the bottom, which can make the bag a little bit tricky to stand up on its own. As you can see, when I set it down, it tends to tip forward a bit. That's due to the design extending to the bottom. This one isn't really that bad, but I did notice a few in store that had a harder time standing up on their own. To get inside, it opens with the push lock closure, which is the same as the quilted tabby. The placement of the D-rings is a bit different from what you usually see. Normally, Coach places the D-rings on the sides of the bag, but on this one, they're attached to a strip of leather on the flap with the other D-ring on the opposite side. Inside of the bag, there are two compartments. There is one main compartment up front, one in the back, and there's also a zippered pocket. The lining of the bag is a light canvas. I would have preferred a darker lining, but the canvas will help keep the interior bright, making it easier to find your items. It does also come with two straps. Now, I haven't unwrapped them, but we're going to do that together. So one is a shoulder strap, and then the other one is a crossbody strap. Here's the shoulder strap, and it's a combination of chain and leather. I'll be honest, this isn't my favorite style. I would have preferred if it were either all chain or all leather, but I kind of get why Coach designed it this way. The leather part will make it more comfortable on your shoulder. In the chain, it does also have leather woven in between, which I think just adds a nice touch. The shoulder strap also has three adjustment settings, allowing you to customize the length to fit. The other strap that it comes with is this crossbody strap, which has seven different adjustment holes. I tried it on with this strap in store, and I really think this is how I'll just be wearing it most of the time. 
So again, when I initially saw this bag in store, I wasn't all that excited about it. A big part of that is because it reminded me so much of the Cassie 19, which I have right here. So it just kind of made me feel like having this bag and that bag, they'd be competing with each other. Because let's be real, they're really close in size and height. But after I got home and I thought about it, they really do have their own vibe and they'll fit a different purpose. These are two totally different bags. This bag with the daisy print has a more fun and playful feel and the Times Square tabby to me just has a more fashion forward edgy vibe with this unique vintage design so even though they are around the same size they're really not competing with each other after all I may do a comparison of the two but they really are so different so right now I'm carrying my Louis Vuitton Alma BB and I'm gonna take everything out of this bag and move it into the Times Square tabby here's what I have inside my Gucci key pouch my Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse a hand sanitizer, my Louis Vuitton card case, and my AirPods. And that is everything that was inside. So let's just see how it all fits in the Times Square tabby. So first I'm putting my zippy coin purse right up front. Then I'm gonna grab my Gucci key pouch, card holder, hand sanitizer, my AirPods, and that is everything inside. So I don't normally carry my phone inside of my bag. Hold that thought. So as you can see, with everything inside, the bag is now leaning forward a bit. And I think it's because there's more stuff in the front pocket. Let's try moving some stuff to the back to see if that helps balance things out. So I moved everything around to even it out a bit and it should sit up straight now. And it does. So with this bag, you're gonna want to not pile too much in the front pocket, just to keep it from leaning forward. So a lot of people always ask if their phone can fit inside of the bag. So here's my phone and it's the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's not gonna fit in the zipper pocket. I'm gonna try to see if it'll fit in the back compartment. So I'm just gonna remove everything first and it easily fits right in the back compartment. And even with my phone and my bag, I can still fit inside my hand sanitizer and my card case just fits right in the zipper compartment. So, I mean, it is a small bag, you guys. It's 20 centimeters across, but you're still able to fit all of your essentials. I think with this bag, it's really gonna depend on how you pack it. And you may just have to be a little bit strategic with how you place your stuff inside. So it's finally here, you guys, the highly anticipated Times Square tabby. I gotta say that overall, I'm really, really happy to have this little bag. Now, I wish I could have had it in February, but it was worth the wait. Let me know if you're planning to pick this bag up as well. I'm gonna link it down in the description box. It comes in three different sizes, so of course, I'll include links to them all. There were two more colors that were on the runway that I know a lot of people were looking forward to. Hopefully, Coach will release those soon. I think we all know that Coach is gonna fully maximize the popularity of this bag so i am sure that there will be a lot more colors to come thank you so much for tuning in to another video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and i'll talk to you soon in my next video